Dear students, uh, welcome to this lecture of strategic human resource management. And uh, uh, in the last two lectures, we have been uh, exploring the concept of employee engagement in uh, detail. And in this lecture, we will focus on uh, certain case studies of employee engagement. I am Dr. Tripti Barthwal. I am Director, Lal Bahadur Shastri Institute of Management and Development Studies, Lucknow. So, uh, we have already seen how uh, employee engagement is important, what benefits it can give to the organization and uh, how uh, you know it can be implemented in the organization. So, uh, we, we move further from there and uh, with a brief uh, you know look into the facts, what facts and figures say, then we will discuss these case studies. So, uh, this is Simon Sinek. Uh, who is a famous author and he said, he says, when people are financially invested, they want a return. When people are emotionally invested, they want to contribute. So, a beautiful uh, quote uh, which re-emphasizes the concept of employee engagement that if you, if you uh, have invested money into a business, then what will you require? You will require ret uh, return on investment. But if you have uh, invested emotionally into something, that is if you have, uh, you know, uh, uh, you, you have uh, uh, like kind of a developed an attachment or sense of belongingness with any person or with any organization, then what you want? You want to contribute you want that person or that organization to grow, you want to see it uh, blossom and you want to grow with that organization. So, this is a survey which was conducted by HubSpot and it pointed out that 69 percent of employees say that they would work harder uh, if they are better appreciated. So, appreciation which is a very important part of uh, employee engagement if you remember being recognized, being praised uh, is uh, uh, as I said an important uh, part of employee engagement and 69 percent which is a very big number of people agree with the fact that they will their performance would improve, increase if they are appreciated. Then another survey which was by Forbes, uh, this survey pointed out that employees who feel that their voice is heard are 4.6 times more likely to feel empowered to perform their best work. So, again it talks about you know get, get, taking allowing two way communication, getting feedback and suggestions from employees at least re related to their work and such employees will feel empowered and once they feel empowered, empowerment is also an important component of employee engagement and hence uh, the organization's uh, performance improves. So, we will talk about uh, uh, you know two, three organizations and how uh, they are working on this concept of employee engagement. So, first we talk about uh, the very, very famous Infosys, you must all be aware about uh, a very, very famous company in the IT sector and uh, Infosys hosts a number of events and runs a handful of social responsible initiatives every year to retain some of the best talents. So, uh, you know uh, the, the, the point is that uh, nobody, no organization wants to uh, let go of uh, performing employees and the only way by which you can uh, make them stay uh, for a very long time with lot of commitment in the organization is that if they are emotionally attached, if they are engaged with the organization. So, for that uh, matter, Infosys you know organizes certain events and I will be talking about one such very, very famous event uh, here. The company believes in enabling the employees with autonomy and helps them mold their career path. They believe in achieving uh, success with an engaged workforce. One such event is Petit InfoCycon Day. This is one of a kind event that Infosys holds very close to its heart. Once a year, the employees are invited to bring their kids to work on a Saturday. So, this is an annual event and uh, it is not, I mean, uh, when we talk about employee engagement, that it is not merely about the work arena of the 
uh, employee. It is because it is involving emotional attachment, uh, sense of belongingness, then there uh, you know the family's role also become very, very important because you know if the employee feels that his family is taken good care of by the organization or uh, you know it is given due importance to by the organization, then in that case the employee uh, feels, uh, feels a sense of engagement towards the organization. The entire development center is decorated with the theme uh, that looks more attractive for any kid. So basically, you know, it is a it is a day where which is meant only for the kids of employees at Infosys. The guests are received with a red carpet welcome, and chocolate candy are distributed at the reception. Employees dressed as Donald Ducks and Mickey Mouse receive the kids. Horse riding and chariots are arranged for the guests to take a tour around the green development center. There are stalls with small games organized on the roads for the family to spend time and have fun. A big stage is set where the company's dance team and theater team entertains the guests. The kids get to dance, sing and act along with them. The families feel very important in the campus. There is a strong sense of oneness in them and that is very important because uh, it is not only they are not gelling with the organization uh, in forces, but they are also getting a chance to gel with each other and that creates a very, very functional and a synergistic team also. The employees fee feel a sense of pride after sensing happiness in their families. The respect offered for the employee's family makes the employee feel valued in the organization. So, it is a very, very natural thing that you know if, if you are given respect at some place, you feel good. But if your parents or somebody elder in your house is given respect uh, in that place, you feel even more better. So, if your friend is uh, giving you respect, you feel nice. But if your friend is uh, respecting your parents, then you feel much, much nicer. Retention rates increases in the organizations through initiatives like these. Now, uh, that is that was about uh, Infosys. Now, we talk about another very, very famous organization. Many of you must have visited and uh, you know, you must have uh, uh, kind of had that very, very different, unique, special experience at Starbucks cafe, uh, coffee. Starbucks ingenuity is not exclusive to their coffee, they maintain a phenomenal employee engagement strategy that keeps their turnover at a rate at an impress, impressive 20 percent of the industry average. So, you can very well see that you know its uniqueness uh, does not merely lie in the kind of coffee and the experience which it gives, but also that its rate of attrition is 20 percent lower than the industry average. Enga and this is just because of their employee engagement strategies, their, their uh, employees are highly engaged lot. So, engaging employees in this way is not only an investment in its workforce, but also an investment in its customers because this we have, we have discussed many times that if your employees are happy, if they, are, they feel a sense of uh, belongingness to the organization, they will stay for longer time, they will say good things about you. So, happy customer, happy employees, happy customers. And due to the dollar 2004 turnover cost for an hourly team member, they are saving a lot of money. So, if an employee leaves the organization, then the, the turnover cost is 2000, uh, 2004 dollars, which is quite high per hour, right. So, uh, that, that they are able to uh, uh, save upon just because of their employee engagement strategies. And what are the main aspects? What does Starbucks do to have such an engaged uh, workforce? Let us see. Listen. So, uh, because we have already discussed under employee engagement that employees want to be appreciated, want to be recognized, want to, um, uh, you know, want their ideas to be listened. Implementation and acceptance of ideas is a different thing, but the first stage is that they want to be heard. So, that is what 
uh, Starbucks is providing an opportunity to the employees. In 2012, Starbucks invited their team managers to their dollar 35 million leadership lab to collaborate and develop new ideas to promote from within. So, it is basically a kind of a brainstorming session, the leadership lab. They took input from around the country and developed strategies from issues only seen in the day to day life of Starbucks. And from these very ideas uh, itself, they develop strategies. By doing so, they also engage their employees by showing that they care and they are willing to change for them. So, it was because all ideas were given by the employees, the employees also felt great because they felt that the organization is listening to them, they want to hear them and they want to uh, you know take their ideas and suggestions seriously. For example, when 30 percent of employees listed freedom to wear what they want as the most wanted job perk, Starbucks developed the dress code look book for employees to follow guidelines while still being able to dress freely. So, from the uniform concept because employees gave this feedback that they want to uh, you know go for uh, you know they, they want to have the freedom to wear what they want to wear, they uh, accepted Starbucks accepted the change. Then the second uh, thing, second intervention which they do uh, for employee engagement is in terms of recruitment and selection. Due to the nature of Starbucks product, lot of potential employees are also customers. This means that a bad interview process could affect the profit margins. So, this is very obvious uh, because they, they produce such a famous product, so many employees are their customers. So, they know that people, candidates who are coming for interviews to the organization, they may not be selected they may not be selected, but if they have a bad experience about Starbucks, then in that case, they will uh, not remain the customers also of Starbucks. So, that can affect their uh, profit margins. So, Starbucks treats uh, interviews as a two-way street and as a result of that, both interviewer and the interview are seeing this uh, if this decision will benefit them. On both Glassdoor and Starbucks website, there is an emphasis on personality and being true to who you are in the interview. So, you do not have to fake, that is the basic requirement at Starbucks. You know, you must be know, aware of Gla uh, Glassdoor, uh, the very, very famous uh, website. This promotes a positive company culture where individuals are not afraid to be themselves and act as excellent firewall, preventing any employees who would not be a good fit for the company from being hired. So, this kind of a very clarity about, you know, what time, type of employees they are looking for as a result of that, uh, it leads to elimination or it le leads to, you know, filtering of employees who cannot fit or gel in the company, uh, they are left out. Next is respect, the kind of respect uh, it shows to its employees. Uh, uh, it respects their employees and return they uh, promote the company in their daily lives becoming walking advocates for their brand. So, it is the say part of the uh, component of employee engagement. If a person works for Starbucks in any capacity, he or she is called a partner rather than an employee. Uh, for, furthermore, they understand who their employees are and offer benefits for the applicable demographics. So, uh, you know, the, their benefits are also customized depending on the demography of the uh, candidates or their employees or their partners and they offer benefits according to their requirements, not what the company would like to give, but what the employee would like to receive. For instance, a large number of Starbucks workers are current students or are paying off loans. So, young people working at Starbucks, many of them continuing their education. So, they offer tuition fee re reimbursements as a company benefit to match their workers' needs. Then we talk about Google, another giant uh, company known as a very good, a good place to work for. So, in Google's early days, founders Larry Page and Sergey Brin focused on two things, creating a better way to find information on the internet and making Google a great place to work. And they have kind of succeeded in both the things today. By far, Google is the most widely used search engine. In fact, when we are searching on the internet, Google has become a generic term that we say, let's Google it out, right? As if Google is the only way to search the internet.
Google is a leader in the employee engagement space and it's not just because of the high salaries, free chef prepared lunches and other quirky and pricey benefits. So not only because of these benefits that Google uh, people, uh, employees love Google, but there are other things also which Google does uh, to take care uh, to, for its employees and to develop that emotional connect with the employees. So Google employees praise things like work-life balance, growth opportunities and company culture just frequently as their perks. Google's entire approach to business including how the company drives engagement revolves around data. So totally to, for the customer also the Google, Google is uh, a data based company totally there are a lot of uh, you know analytics is being conducted and for employees also you know it, it does a lot of analytics to find out you know what would be the right approach. During his tenure as senior vice president of people's operations HR at Google Laszlo, uh, Laszlo uh, uh, Bok uh, uh, instituted a long term research study no known as GDNA or Google DNA to understand you know what is going inside and uh, focused on developing a scientific understanding of the work experience. More than just Google's employee engagement survey, GDNA measures how both the work environment and employees individual personalities shape the employee experience. Thousands of randomly selected Google uh, employees complete the survey each year. One of the earliest findings from GDNA results was that the idea of work-life balance is flawed. Now, this was a big, uh, you know, question mark on the entire concept of work-life balance, which we have been propagating uh, for so many years. They discovered that there are two types of people, segmentators and integrators, segmentors, sorry, and integrators. And what are these two types of people? Segmenters are people who are able to go home at the end of the day and completely forget about their work. And though there are certain, uh, certain people uh, who come in the category of integrators who find it very difficult to separate their professional and their personal life, whereas segmenters can very easily demarcate. So less than one third, that is 30% of employees are segmented, segmenters that who are very good in, you know, compartmentalizing that this is my personal life, this is my professional life. Others fall in the category, that is the majority fall in the category of integrators. Uh, and these are the people actually for whom work-life balance is very important and uh, but are incapable of making it happen on their own. So this data helped Google identify areas with tremendous potential for improving engagement. So this is how analytics, data analytics helped Google to point out at the real problem right and then come up with a solution uh, if they do, wouldn't have conducted this analytics they would have continued with uh, you know their engagement interventions which they would have con considered correct and may maybe in the due course of time employees would have felt that we do not need this even though maybe the employees were not even aware that what is the problem with them so this is how the survey gdna helped them and if work life balance is important for keeping employees happy motivated and productive but employees can't achieve work-life balance on their own, there's an opportunity to boost engagement by developing policies that info reinforce work-life balance. For example, Google's Dublin office ran a program called Dublin Goes Dark that required employees to drop off their devices before leaving the office. So, you know, work was not carried home, so leaving, leading to a good, better work-life balance. So, that was one way they tried. Google helps employees to prevent burnout by giving them more control by allowing for flexibility in work schedules. So you, this, this concept you already know, now it is prevalent in the entire IT sector. Some of the Google's more exotic benefits like on-site haircuts, massages, bowling alleys, gaming rooms, pools and play playgrounds are not necessarily designed for after work use. Googlers enjoy those amenities at any time they want even in the middle of the workday. So that is what makes Google unique. Most of the organization they may have recreational fa uh, facilities and health and fitness facilities but that will be uh, meant for the employees to be used after uh, their work day is over but in Google that is totally different whenever you feel stressed whenever you feel that you don't want to work uh, it is creating 
having monotony, you can just step out of your work area and move to this area and enjoy for sometimes have a break. Another Google's approach for burnout is 20 percent time. Employees spend up to 20 percent of their time at uh, every week on projects that inspire them. With their 20 percent time, Google employees created Gmail, Google News, AdSense and many other highly profitable products. Now, you can very well see with you know little little small interventions and taking little care of the employees. Google is able to not only make them so much happy and connected, but it is also able to derive so much of uh, you know commercials out of it. You can see that you know if employees are working in an area which they, uh, they, they feel that you know it is fine, but I want to contribute to something more. So, they can very easily 20 percent of their office time they can spend on those areas also. And from that 20 percent of the time which was not actually their uh, real work time, uh, employees were able to create you know great uh, uh, things like Gmail and Google News and AdSense which is uh, you know kind of uh, driving lot of uh, you know uh, lot of goodwill and lot of revenue for Google. A perk like 20 percent time inspires employees because it allows them to focus on things they are passionate about. That inspiration prevents burnout, increasing engagement and decreasing turnover. Now, uh, after Google, let us talk about very our very own uh, Indian uh, uh, chain of uh, hotels that is Taj. The Indian Hotels Company Limited that is IHCL and its subsidiaries branded as Taj Hotels, Resorts and Palaces started with their first hotel Taj Mahal Palace in Mumbai set up by Jamshedji Tata in 1903. So, you are all aware about this and how you know it was attacked by terrorists also that uh, so it is a very very famous uh, a place in Mumbai where visit, you know, people will, tourists will just go and have a photograph also even if they are not staying there. So, the Taj has a highly engaged and loyal workforce. The loyalty index of Taj employees having a set a global benchmark of 80 percent. So, this is many organizations would uh, struggle to achieve uh, even half of that, but as high as 80 percent of loyalty index. The benchmark level of employee engagement has translated to a guest first culture at touch points within the hotel, where employees constantly, consistently strive to meet uh, and exceed guest expectations. The chain of hotels believes that its success underlies in the commitment and pledge of its people. So, uh, basically whatever they are wanting to achieve, they achieve, they know that they will, it is through the employee, especially because it is a service industry. Every employee is considered a representative of the company signifying the everlasting spirit of warmth and providing the highest form of service standard. The success of the hotel industry rests on the delight created for the guest that emerges out of various moments of truth experienced by the guest when the hotel provides a service. It is a reflection of core values, innovation and extraordinary efforts of the employees. And I have taken a little uh, uh, you know overview of uh, how engagement is carried out at Taj hotels in the earlier lecture also. Employee recognition making people feel appreciated is one of the key activators of employee engagement in an attempt to distinguish the outstanding service delivered by their staff. Any employee who has shown a deep commitment and dedication uh, towards guest satisfaction is rewarded in the presence of senior leadership because reward is also a very important part of employee engagement. Taj has devised an award winning globally recognized employee reward and recognition system for the same. To acknowledge the special moments experienced by the guests, Taj has a program called Special Thanks and Recognition Systems that is STARS which is applicable to all levels of employee that I had referred to in the uh, earlier uh, lecture also. Reward points are provided for each extraordinary act and based on the same the associate can reach various levels of the scheme. 
employees accumulate points throughout the year in three domains complements from guests complements from colleagues and their own suggestions so adding the scores of all the three uh, makes up em employee a total score and how worthy is he is for the award attainment of each level is rewarded by a star's badge worn on the lapel of the uniform which differenti differentiates the star from other associates the organization also has an institutionalized talent management program called emerging leaders which comprises of a series of diagnostic studies to assess the leadership competencies provide an individual development and further provide developmental input so people showing leadership uh, you know potential uh, they can be developed further the old saying suggests that people join companies but leave managers indeed the key to any engagement or employee recognition program is in the hands of the frontline managers so we have already discussed that super superior or the immediate boss plays a very important role in employee engagement and taj also recognizes this and as a result of that you know taj places a very very important emphasis on how uh, you know they can uh, create a rapport between the uh, uh, the immediate superior and the employee so we have discussed you know the employee engagement strategies of four Uh, different organizations very very famous organizations infosys starbucks google and taj and i hope now you can relate what we studied relate uh, the entire concept of employee engagement which we discussed in the earlier two lectures to how it is being practically applied in the industry thank you